dash from Bloom Where You're Planted. I'm in the garden this morning making my small step. I latched onto a phrase that I really liked that was, you don't have to take huge strides towards your goal. You can take small steps as long as they're leading you in the right direction. So welcome to my small step this morning. I'm cleaning out my herb bed this morning. Um, I, unfortunately, I got most of it I worked on it for a little while before I decided to come and get you because I thought, no one's really interested in this. And then I thought, you know, no, they, they maybe want to see my small step and see what I mean. Anyway, so I cut down these um, marigolds. They just grow their great. And I cut down my calendula. Calendula is a beautiful flower. It's also called a pot marigold. And it really likes the cool weather. So I'm really surprised that it did so well here in my garden um, during the summer. I really expected it to just totally die out. But the calendula flower is used for to make healing ointment. It's very healing. And so you take the flower and you soak it in alcohol or you can uh, put it in an oil and warm it on your stove. And um, so I will leave a link on how to do that it's not my recipe, but uh, it's a good friend of mine, Kathy at Oak Hill Homestead. She does a great job of explaining how to do it. And so I'm going to link to that. And then, um, so I'm hoping by deadheading these plants, by deadheading, I mean cutting them off about midway, that they're, when the cool weather comes in, they're just going to get a resurgence of growth and they're going to grow up and I'm going to get a lot more flowers for my new batch of ointment. So, or salve, and I also use my beeswax for this also. So, that's really fun, and uh, hopefully we can do that together. So the other thing I'm doing, yes, is uncovering. Some of my herbs were getting choked out. I uncovered my thyme there, and my lavender actually grew there by accident. I have never been able to grow lavender very good. This is called Spanish lavender. And that seems to grow really good here in Dallas, Texas, even coming up by accident. Now to me, the smell of it is a little strong. Um, you know, some lavenders just, I guess, smell prettier than others. And this to me is just a little astringent. I don't know how to describe it, but it's just a little harsh. Uh, some people have smelled it in my garden, I liked it, and others have said, ooh, yeah, I see what you mean. So. But it goes great here, and um, so I'm just gonna go with it. I mean, we have so much perfume nowadays, beautiful perfumes and, and essential oils and stuff, um, but I can see how this, if I were living quite some time ago, I can see how this would be a good smell. I mean, it's clean and it's stringent. I don't know how to explain that, but yeah, so. I'm just going to go with it because I can't grow English lavender. I just have really struggled with all my types of lavender. And so this Spanish lavender seems to be the hit. So give that a try. It has beautiful blooms too. And I harvested some to take inside and hang and dry. And I imagine I could perfume soaps with it and different things. So. And then my comfrey. The bumblebees love it. And it is just a beast. Now there are some different types of comfrey. There's like blocking 12 and blocking 14, I think. And the way, the way they work is they spread in the roots. So you can dig up the plant, separate the roots into different little plants, pot them up, and plant them in different places to spread your comfrey. And um, I do not have that kind. I have the kind that spreads by seed. So I got it from a friend of mine. A friend of mine was very generous and gave me just a little couple of little plants and that grew into this beast, as you can see. And some people think that the one that spreads by seed is invasive, and, uh, but my rabbits eat this. And so the more of this that I have, the less rabbit food I have to buy. So invasive or not, bring it. 
I say bring it because my rabbits can eat it. So I'm actually gonna move this big plant into kind of a hedge on the side of my garden um, and just use it for rabbit food because um, again, that's money in my pocket if I don't have to buy rabbit pellets. This thing is amazing. It also has different uses in the garden. You can use it as a drop mulch, meaning it brings up the nitrogen from the soil and then you lay it around your plants and it kind of decomposes and fertilizes your plants. And it's also healing. You can make a healing salve out of it. So I put some of it in with my calendula salve. So it's an amazing little plant, Comfrey is. And I, again, I'll leave you a link of um, one, a podcast that Harold, Harold uh, Thornbro did um, on Comfrey and the uses of it on the homestead. He always does such a great job. He has such a friendly manner. And I love his podcast. So I'm gonna link to that in the description. And then also I will link to a place where you can go buy, where you can order Comfrey if you want to and you can choose which kind you want. If you don't have rabbits, then I get the other kind. If you have rabbits, maybe you want invasive. <laughs> maybe you want this beast. So anyway, I'm gonna cut some for my rabbits now to eat this morning. down because look it was really choking out my thyme plant beautiful thyme here and then just woody stems on this side where it was choking it out so definitely need to move this beast out of my herb garden so I can actually grow my herbs <laughs> I've got mostly thyme this is a lemon thyme some different types of thyme and then over there buried is oregano which is pretty much a beast also. But I would love to put some others in here. I did garlic in here in the fall. But as you can tell, with this in the middle, <laughs> yeah, this has not become an herb garden. It's become a comfrey garden. <laughs> Let me show you where I'm gonna put my comfrey. All right, I made this bed right here. Let me show you. About in the late spring, I made this bed I just put cardboard down and I bordered it and I put wood chips and wood chips and wood chips and wood chips. If you didn't see my video about the chip drop that I got, I will link to that. Um, that's one way to get good free wood chips for your garden. Anyway, these will decompose and this will be a great bed. So what I'm going to do here is just start with the comfrey. I'm just going to do a whole hedge of comfrey along here. And that way I can feed my rabbits with it and it will replenish the soil. I can just chop and drop it and I'm gonna get this bed rocking. So that was my small step for this morning. I'm gonna go feed this comfrey to my rabbits. I'm so glad I uncovered my herb garden again. <laughs> well, partially anyway. 